All right, guys, I'm back, and this is, um, this could be cool or it could be not. So, this is something ordered directly from an ad on one of my videos because I saw it and I was, you know, so let me, let me jump back a second and say, I don't know if, if most people understand how the ads on YouTube work. I have zero control over them. None. We, we don't, you know, when you put up a video, you don't get to say, I want these ads and not these ads, or you don't get to actually work with a company and be like, hey, sure, I'll put your ads on my videos. Unless you do that sponsored content and you actually be like, hey, today's video is sponsored by, you don't, and, and then that's not a part of the YouTube ad system. They pay you directly to do that kind of stuff. You know, when you have like a sponsored ad, like, and you introduce it in the video the YouTube ad system is uh, completely out of your hands. Like you don't, you do not have any control over that at all. So there are, there are companies that will, they will um, either, either pay to say, I want, I want my ads on, uh, you know, on, on, uh, on videos that reach these locations or, you know, YouTube collects demographics and say, you know, we, we want to reach men, women, boys, girls, um, llamas in these age groups, or, you know, we want to attract people that watch these kinds of videos and put them on these videos. So like, I have absolutely no control over what ads go on my videos. And there have been some ads on my videos that have really pissed me off when I want, when I look at them and I see what's on there and I'm like, I would never support this. What the hell is that crap? Um, especially during election time, by the way. But with that being said, sometimes I, I look at them and um, I'm like, ah, that looks, looks kind of interesting. You know, but then I think about what I, you know, so somebody watching my video, so I want you guys to understand that. I, I don't, an ad, a, a, a video, an ad that YouTube puts on my video has, has nothing to do with me. It doesn't mean I endorse it or support it or anything like that. It is just YouTube has decided that that ad, that that company um, has has paid for revenue ad advertising on YouTube, and that that fits. YouTube's getting revenue from that ad, and that it there the company is paying for uh, an advertising slot that somehow matches my video. You know what I mean? Um, and by the way, you might not all see the same the same ads on the same video because of where you are, because of the other videos that you've watched. They've got out, you know, like AI algorithms that figure this all out. So, okay, uh, whatever. Um, so sometimes I'm watching these videos, uh, my own, you know, I'm watching videos just to see, you know, somebody will make a comment and I'll have absolutely no, no clue what they're talking about. Cause sometimes when people comment, you know, they've just watched the video. They've just watched me speak a sentence and they'll respond to that exact sentence. And I'll be like, dude, this is a video I put up a month ago. Like I have, and you're, you're like responding to it as if we're in a conversation. I don't have a clue. Cause you haven't put, you haven't put in a proper sentence in there. You know, you haven't even put a subject of what you're, so I'll, I'll go back to see what they're talking about. And in doing so, I end up seeing an ad for whatever. Um, so there's just the background of, of, of what is going on here. Um, and you know, sometimes I should probably just go back and check what ads are on there at any given point. But anyway, so with that being said, um, there are some times where I look at ads and I'm like, uh, well, gee, that's dumb. Sometimes I say, oh, well, that's, that's nifty. That's interesting. And sometimes it's just like, what in the world is that crap? So there's a video, there's an ad that I've been seeing recently on other people's videos that I watch a lot and that I've noticed have been on my videos a few times. And apparently the Evitac company, which is run by Abe Survival, has made the perfect, the, the ultimate rescue knife. It's a rescue knife, it's a survival knife, it's everything you want. And they'll give it away for you for free if you just pay shipping. Shipping, by the way, is $12.95. Um, but if you go on their website, it's normally a $59.99 knife. Um, if you click the link and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start checking out some of the things that are, that are done in these ads on my videos to see what people might be tempted to click on from my videos, making money for the company and YouTube. So yeah, if you click on an ad that's on, you know, my video and you buy something from that company. Yeah. That, that goes, YouTube gets a, I don't, I don't know if YouTube gets a, a share of it, but I don't. So anyway, um, so I bought it. So I bought the Evitac rescue knife. And uh, 
boy. So we're going it, to, it's a, this is actually the second one they've had to send out because the first one disappeared in transit and never showed up. And, uh, that was a fun customer service experience. They weren't terrible. They weren't bad customer service. They could have been slightly more helpful. It took me four phone calls to, to get it figured out between um, USPS Local, USPS National, UPS, and then the company. And then I had to call the company back. They said, give it another, give us, give us another, you know, till Monday. I think I called them on a Thursday. They said, give us till Monday. They did, to their credit, they did send another one out for free um, after I gave them another couple days for it to show up. And, you know, customer service is important to me. So let's see. We've got proudly distributed by Ape Survival from Denver, Colorado. Made in China. The box leaves me wanting a little bit. Um, is this Johnny Chimpo? What is this? Well, you got a sticker. And then a coupon. All right, for a little... Um, you get a discount, and then you go into the survey. So, the reason I, I really wanted this is because number one, I saw the knife in the ad a little bit, and I said, I don't know. But the guy was, you know, this guy was playing this knife up like it was the greatest thing since sliced bread, um, or any other knife. And I said, well, we got to check it out. It's heavy. So let's see what you get. For, remember, normally they say this is $59.95 American. With shipping, $12.95. For $12.95, you don't even get direct UPS door-to-door. -door. You get UPS Mail Innovations. Which, meh. Oh, you get, look, is this another sticker? Evitac, gear for tactical lines. Oh, my lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, praise the Bud K gods. Oh. Wow. Oh. $59.95. I'm willing to bet we could find the exact same thing. In a shit hits the fan box or possibly even... Wow, look how thin that blade is. For some, some emergency rescue use stuff. Is this aluminum? Aluminum scales. Okay, so first of all. First of all, we never want metal in this for this kind of stuff. You never want anything that's a conductor of electricity. For any kind of risky knife. Um, but that's a whole other thing. Oh my lord. Wow. So it's got the generic very Bud K, cheap clip going on there. Um, I just can't believe this. The very mismatched jimping on these super thin liners and these aluminum scales. Oh, this is going in the hall of shame. Um, and that's assisted. That's assisted, and it didn't even open up all the way. There we go. Look at that. That's a rescue knife, apparently. Or, or is this a survival knife? Or is this a, what is this? Um, stainless steel. They're not going to tell you what it is. We know We know what we can say about that. I don't know what these are. Are these, what is, th what is this? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, save us from cheap shit made in China. $59.95. I'm um, I'm willing to bet if you spent enough time, you could find this. Almost. Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to get into it. Um. So this spring assisted. Super thin liner lock. I will say it's comfortable. It's a fairly large handle, so, you know, you know, large hands. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words that they're, that this is a, a 59.90. Now, now, look, they're on their ad. Okay, so they're saying it's a, it's normally a $59.95 knife and it's yours. 
for the discount price of shipping only for $12.95. Um, which is the most I would pay for something like this. This is, I, I and I could totally imagine this, 100% imagine this coming branded as something else entirely in, in you know, a Bud K catalog or shit hits the fan box with a maximum price of twelve ninety five. But, I mean, you got to see the ad, the way the guy talks this knife up about how amazing it is. Um, here's the glass breaker. I want, how is that even on? Is it screwed on? Is it tack welded on? Do we even know? We don't. But it's, it's not even straight. It's not even flush. There's a, can I get a shot of that? Will the camera catch it? It's not even totally flush on the butt of that knife. Oh, dear mother in heaven. Oh. This is advertised on my channel. And uh, other channels. A lot of other channels, too. So, again, they just buy the advertising slots. And YouTube fits the ad in, you know, to where they where it goes. There's a whole bunch that goes in it. Other good points, though. Deep cat... Oh, my God. And it's it's right hand tip down only? It's tip down only. Well, technically, if they're if it's supposed to be like a rescue knife, wearing on a, on a duty belt or something, okay. But very deep carry clip. I mean, this whole thing will be will be in your pocket if it's in your pocket, in which case it doesn't need to be a tip, tip down only. Separate line cutter slash, um, you know, seatbelt cutter. We'll, we'll give that a test. I, you know, and I, I was sort of, I was hoping. I wasn't expecting much. I was hoping. I was hoping. You know, like, wouldn't it be great to get it? And it's like, oh, wow, what a great knife. It is a great knife. Um, and now I'll go check out the rest of their, their stuff because they got gear and all this other stuff. And now I will. Well, let's see. Well, at least it's finished nicely. Yeah, it's finished nice. Um, I love a recurve blade, um, but as a survival knife, this is, eh, it's not bad. I mean, it's no, it's a bit pointy to be, if you're careful, but it still has the potential to be stabby to your the person you're trying to take care of. Um, I wouldn't consider that this is not built at all. The thinness of these liners, um, the thin stock on this blade, I mean, this would not be a, a hard-use knife by any stretch of the imagination. And because of the thinness of the liners, I mean, that, that lock, the, I don't know, let's, that's yeah, ready, let's let's take a look before we go. It, and it's, it's not, there we go. Okay, so are we centered? We are centered perfect. We are centered pretty perfectly there, okay? And uh, lock up is, I'm trying to get something nice and light behind it so you can see. Lock up is fairly early, all right. Um, oh God, that lock up moved like 50%. Look at that, do you see that? That lock up moved to, ugh. Ugh. So the lock definitely shifted. I don't think that our, our centering shifted at all. Let's see. But the lock did go back. Uh, you know, so it's not gonna unlock on you, but that is not a very stable lock. Um, it's moving, I mean, it moves around and, ugh. Have any blade play at all? No, no, no blade play. I don't know what kind of steel we're dealing with, but if they're not going to tell us, we're probably dealing with a 420 series, not HC, but 420, um, or, you know, probably a 3CR blade, M Textile. All they, all they want to say is stainless steel, and even in the ad, they just say stainless steel. And since it's right here, oh, yeah, that's not a... These are never as good as the blade really work it uh not too bad a cut but i mean it should be literally a razor blade you should just go whoop, and and cut maybe it works better with the flat nylon i don't know
Yeah, no, it's... Can you get a piece of paper in there, even, to do this? No, the size of the... That's a very big, obtuse blade. There we go. Once we get it in there. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. I mean, like I said, I don't know what I was thinking. What, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but, you know, when stuff is advertised, again, I, it, I'm not putting the ads on my channel. I'm not screening the products. So it's not like I feel personally responsible. But when somebody comes to watch one of my videos and they see this ad and they're like, oh, cool, just pay shipping. It's, you know, this, this Australian, uh, you know, guy with his cool accent that's cooler than mine talking about how great the knife is you know i feel bad thinking somebody might like like really like oh what a great knife i'm gonna get this knife it's on doc p's channel you know um and it quite frankly is very mall ninja like uh, i i i i would not be surprised at all if you found this thing you know, almost exactly. Like, look at. I mean, just from doing the, just from doing the, um, the lock test. Can you see that the coating is is like worn off, the edge of the blade there, and that's not even from hard use. That's from hitting on a rubberized, you know, cutting mat. <sighs> so, there's that. Uh, maybe I should do this with some more stuff, some more ads, uh, you know, on on Facebook and on uh, the channel and stuff like that. Just random products that they're trying to sell. I probably would not pay twelve ninety five for this. This is like a honestly, I feel like it is a nine ninety nine Bud K knife. Um, and even then, I don't. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't buy it. Looks like there's nylon washers in it, and they're thick. They're thick enough to the point where they're they're not, you know, you kind of tell they're not Teflon. They're actual. They're nylon. They're plastic. They're not. They're not Teflon. They're nylon. Um. <laughs> Teflon washers are usually a bit thinner. So there it is. Probably would not recommend it, um, since there is. I mean. There's so much unknown quantity going on here that I could recommend for that money some some much better items that I can I can identify, you know what you're getting for it. Um, but on the positive side, since you've got so much metal going on here, um, you know this great customizable. You know you could Cerakote this, the crap out of this whole thing and do all sorts of custom stuff on it. But anyway, all right. There you go. What do you guys think? I mean, am I just completely off base? Anybody own this and want to tell me that it's a, actually a great workhorse of a knife? And um, I don't know, you know, what I'm talking about or my impressions are wrong. Feel free to throw that in. But has anybody seen this ad on a video, mine or otherwise, and wondered about it? Um, and now you're kind of seeing it. I mean, we can take it out and do like a follow-up to this video and do like an actual outdoor, let's, let's test it out. Let me hear your comments. Let's see what you have to say about this. Um, and, you know. Hey, are there more things you've seen in ads on my channel that you'd like me to check out um, that maybe, you know, I have seen or maybe I just haven't even seen? You can throw that in the comments too. But in any case, guys, remember, you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back again real soon.